Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Go to the Dark Mod. And today we're going to play through Return to the City by Milan and Black Dude. This is actually the third version of this mission. The first iteration was released for a Christmas contest, uh, I think it was three years ago. Um, it was a very impressive city mission, but it suffered from a lot of uh, visibility problems. Like, um, uh, if you're aware of uh, how the Doom Free Engine works, uh, basically it's, it's like uh, the Quake Engine and the Half-Life Engine. Everything that surrounds you is calculated and you have to close some areas with what we call these portals. The problem is, uh, the mission was poorly optimized on its, on its first version, so there was a second version released uh, afterwards, uh, two years later I think, uh, with help from Bakadude, there were some uh, improvements on uh, the level, new areas, um, and the level was just way better in terms of uh, visuals and the optimization was really cool. And this is the third version. Uh, it has uh, some small new areas that are really, uh, really tiny, and it, it's uh, just a bit better than the second version in terms of optimization. And it also adds a uh, a woman in a in, in a house patrolling. So um, we'll just start the mission now. Back among these old walls again, it seems, the alleyways and courts beckon, the smells and flickering lights the same as ever, and I've been away so little that I remember them all. No matter. This time my objective once more brings me to the Builders. One of their workshops has recently received a shipment of potent explosives. Although inert before it is treated with a volatile compound, there is bound to be a mechanician who will pay a good price for the, for the lot. That settles my agenda for the night. I must be careful since the builders aren't known to be lenient with trespassers, and if they knew it was the same fellow who had already paid them a visit once, but better not dwell on trivialities. I have found a way to the street where the storehouse is located, and hid myself next to the gate. If I am unable to open it from inside, then when I am done, I may just have to find another way out. This, it is an hour before midnight, time to go. So we'll play an expert as usual. Our objectives are steal the explosives from the builder's storehouse. The builders will never allow another break in, so better get what you can while you still have an opportunity. Find a thousand proper loot. Better not linger too long when the deed is done. After you are finished with your other tasks, find a way out of the district. And bonus to throw the builders off your trail, find some way to divert for attention. So we'll begin the mission. So this mission, Return to the City, is a sequel of sorts to uh, another mission Milan released for Thief 1 that is called Prowler of the Dark. It's basically set in the same city district. And um, you will uh, notice some stuff in this mission, in the readables, for example, that are uh, uh, references to other missions from uh, from a land, namely uh, some of the district names and some people who share a, who share a name and all. Pretty interesting to just um, to see all the stuff. So if you were wondering the loot I missed in a fiasco, uh, it was two chalices in a Lenderman's house. In the blue torch area, just hidden behind a package, and there was a purse in the flop house, hidden behind um, it was a chamber pot. But I was still 50 shy of uh, the total amount of loot, and I don't know where the last piece is. So, and I have absolutely no idea where it is. In this mission, though, I think I know where all the loot is. So. 
but let's just look at our equipment first. We have a map, which is pretty detailed. We began uh, south, next to the lower market side uh, gate, near the Chantry. We have Sykes Place, which is not indicated on the map. We have Brunet's Mansion, which we cannot enter. Then we have the Storehouse, and the North Quarter North, and then the Building Cloister, which is our uh, objective. So we have zero loot, our compass, one flash bomb, a spyglass, a lantern, the lockpicks, that's all. We have a blackjack, a sword, three brunettes, three water, three ropes, one moss, and that's it. So again, this is a ghost playthrough, so no knockouts, no detections at all. That's an odd noise. It does not have any arrows. You can uh, steal some arrows from uh, some guard, but it doesn't look like he has some for me. Bad. Safe, take a safe. And there is a document we can read. Maynard, you're tougher. Take care to lock up the place before you venture out on your rounds. Better not let some lurking gutter snipe break in here. I believe I saw some suspicious guy loitering about during the day, but never quite caught sight of him clearly. I've got your winnings on the out, but you remember, promises of big knuckles you'll buy me with it are fair and square. Here is another piece of readable here. Benjamin, the blasted lever is stuck again. No way in and no way out until someone frees us for on the morrow from the outside. If you need someone help, the cloister is the place to go, Maynard. So here you can find uh, five broaded arrows, but you are not interested in them, so I won't take them. And there is a purse here, which is our first piece of loot. Careful because there's a guard that comes here. Doesn't look like he's here, so. Now we enter the marked place with the bowman coming back. So you can read this uh, paper on the other place on the in the map, which I'm going to need to do because it's pretty risky to stay here. Maybe there's another guard coming. Oh, whoa! <laughs> the rat. Some stuff. <coughs> In the market stall here, you can find some coins, which I'm going to steal. Just making sure no one's around. There's a third guard coming. Forward. Crap. 
and we are, should be good to go. Next step is this power station. Sure, it's not in here. Let's find some wood. Card coming back. <laughs> Transform a regular, direct dynamo regular, mission regular, dimes regular, side jumps, liquid tank regular, pipes regular. Also inspected lamp posts, nothing out of order. Evening drinks with Clement Grime. Uh, the 12. The builder snapped Randall, who was ha hammering up the scaffolds, poor bugger. Said he stole from the church. Two builders entered here and searched all high and low too. Um, Received work department's funds for the month. But we'll pay for fixing up that crap the builders stopped apart. And 14th, power outage took down over grid in Dunlock and lower market type online. Skip days maintenance tasks to have out. Search a place you can find a purse. That's all there is. To Bronnet's mansion, which we cannot enter, sadly. Whoa! Is that something over there? That's spotted. Didn't hear him approach. So, as always, with Milan's mission, lots of climbing opportunities. So there's nothing here, but I'm aware of. Okay, so save read with this. Honest citizens and stout lawmen, be well aware that a man of dark guile, sinister of intent, and swift of limb has recently entered our holy ground. Believing the Lord Builder of objects sacred and precious. Item, this miscreant has also lifted a dark volic most potent, a skull of paganic enchantment. Let it be known that the Lord Builder will reward the child who brings note of this man or Volik, as surely as he will smite whose sins in his eyes by sheltering or aiding him. Father Glad. We're approaching a garden area. It's very nice looking. And our next step is to infiltrate Sipe's place. Through the basement, which is the safest way in my opinion. There are stuff here. We have some pieces of loot and a message. Basement note. Kind Master Sykes, waited I, your humble servant, beams below your window, but to no avail. Then came I here, waited after knocking right, but came you not. Did I displease you? Was it not enough did I take? 
appear a fine cup and a bottle from a dame's table, or bid you take more, I will. So I, your maid and guard, I gossip also, tongue a wag, and spoke they of ridding you from your monies they did. Watch you, kind Master Sykes, and keep your humble servant. It is that I respectfully remain. Beans. This guy looks like some pagan dude. Really nasty writing. This guy seems to have some merchandise. Embrog line lead played lead paid. And there is a uh, lead ingots and lady paid. This is Embrog line as well, I think. Come on. Glass line and lady paid. You can actually read the stuff from here. Just look at his wine collection. One bottle here, and I think that's it. Yes. Door is locked. Have to open it. This leads upstairs. There is nothing behind those crates if you're interested. So here, some stuff. We can steal this painting. We can open this safe, which will do. Here we can find some coins and a purse and a book. The the coronet, upper class clientele, no known links to low court sources, heavy guard, the mausoleum, looted resting place of overlord Pazar, never occupied, vagrants and thieves, access to lower tombs blocked, rose garden, old lovers hangout now used by rogues. Meeting point, probably watched, abandoned once, prosperous, whose? The hollow pits, the walls territory, known leg breakers, too risky, no access. Old Priory, build a complex now almost abandoned, potentially lucrative, theater nearby. Worth residence, minimal risk area, guards underpaid and ill organized, note, secret chamber of previous occupant. Cattle's well, Small bathhouse, poor elements, reputedly richer than seems, golden figurines, even Troid estate, light guard, minor collection of exotics, rare books, a pleasant conversant, but more alert than expected. So if you're familiar with Milan's universe, you recognize the Pazar uh, name and the Troid estate, which we visit in this orientation. Here's a note. Randolph, no, you try that idiocy if it pleases your miserable neck to hang. Not one crate of goods goes anywhere until this holier-than-thou alacrit sees searching. It is enough I have that grotesque little idol in my cellar. Do you have an idea what fabric you have that puffed-up-all rooster would do to one caught with restricted items? And call off your men and, as well. No deliveries to my cash until this is over, S. We'll actually keep this note with us. And here's a letter. Most esteemed father, he does come to my attention, but one Serge Myron, in service at the guard, has shared the opinion that the Lord Beardy's house has been the victim of burglary at behest of merchants from the bazaars. If indeed they have commissioned that unhallowed relic stolen, might not an inquiry lead to its trail? I know I know little of such things as an old man at the end of, of, of his years. 
but there is much idle talk about town that they take all manner of illicit goods with some with none looking over their, their activities. Your fellow servant A Sykes. This note we can leave. We don't need it. That's it for the basement. And now we're going to the ground floor. Well, no, the second floor of the basement, but there is nothing here. So, open this door. And we now arrive in the. Whoops! What's that? Enough. Oh, his guard. I wasn't aware he, he could come here. Keep it in frame to leave the place. There's some, some more NPCs in this version of the map. Got caught by surprise. The I see. <sighs> just some bastard. Kitchen. I should be here. Just hide in the corner here. I think it's enough. So last I know, there is absolutely nothing in the kitchen. So good to go. Is it the floor here is tile. By the way. Read very carefully. Oh, she saw me. Damn it. Well, she saw something. I don't want to be seen at all. Just hide in the corner here. Nice little cupboard. My frame rate is pretty low in this room for some reason. Maybe the car's coming back. Yes. You should patrol all the way to. Uh, the second floor. Yes. So, this is a pretty tough area because, um, whoops, because of her mainly. First alert. It's not even a first alert. So, over here, there is a necklace and a piece of paper. You should be able to read.
So yeah, hard, uh, hard area, lots of traffic. No, she didn't see me. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think I cannot read the uh, paper. But you can't do that every day, so we have all these days when there's really nothing. You can see two, uh, there are two chalices on the fireplace, but they're impossible to grab without a, what, an alert from someone. So we use some. Somebody else will have to do this. This isn't something I'm supposed to do. This is what my servants are for. They notice I the... can't get away with this. I will call the guards. I think it just got spotted. Is somebody yeah. there? I will have to douse uh, the torches and the fire, basically, if I want to grab them. My instructions clearly say it was supposed to be lit. Get me a servant. Where's my... What is that? Another one out. Be able to grab the two chalices of our place now. Yes, here's one. I'm not going to light it. I have servants for that. Here's the second one. Somebody else will have to do this. This isn't something I'm supposed to do. This is what my servants are for. If these aren't the alert, it's just not as the fire is out, basically. a good spot to save. I'm just waiting for the guard to come back downstairs and we will be done with the house. is taking his time. Good. This should be enough for me to squeeze in. So this is carpet I can run on it. No problem. This is tile however. There's nothing inside these um, armoires. We can safely open the door. Proceed to Sykes' bedroom. Lots of stuff to grab here. So, take a save. We have a lion statue right here. Next, we have a bottle of wine and a cup. On the table. Finally, we have some coins here and a chalice and some notes. Wolsey, make sure that imbecile beans does not gain access to the house now or any time until I say otherwise. No ifs or buts. If he tries to crawl in, you throw him out, and if he gives you a bribe, help yourself to a bowl of my wine instead. We can't have him with 
these stolen knickknacks not when the builders are scouring the neighborhood for their skull or while Favagia perches, perches in his quarters like a raven looking for eyes to pluck. Those are my orders. Either you obey, you obey or you're fired. He doesn't know how to write properly. Like It actually takes a lot of noise to wake him up, so we're free, free to do whatever we want. Alright, so now we're going to go down this window. And we're back at the street level. Just want to try and get a little, a little trim here. You should be able to do so. Yeah. That oh. Sound right. Yeah. Make some noise. Let's try again without making noise this time. Nobody heard that. Perfect. This is exactly where I wanted to go because our next target is uh, some involves some climbing. So as always, watch out when you're on the roof because it's tile. The AS can very clearly hear you. You don't know if you are too far away to hear anything. Alright, so let's open these shutters. Inside here, we have some goblets we can grab. There's a healing potion if you're interested. And now, this is the hardest piece of, uh, well, hidden areas to find. There is a hidden cache. Or just to have to replace everything later on. So here we can find a golden statue, we can find a ring, a coin, and some gold coins and silver coin stacks. Pallet back. Right. Now we're going to put the crates approximately, approximately as we found them. So you think there will be three on the floor, like this, and another one here, like this. All right. So we are pretty visible here, that lane. We should move quickly. Alright, this is enough. So over here we can find a little attic. We can open this chest with all the bricks. Inside it is a golden plate. Most probably stolen. So now this is pretty hard. We have to get back down without causing too much noise and without falling. Ah. Hell. trim here and whoa I just slipped on the chain just just right come on you can do it I was going to say Garrett but you're not Garrett obviously ah I got it this time Yes. 
she visited the garden that's far away and cured it. It's mental on the chain here. Carefully creep across. Then mental up here. <sighs> and over here we can find a ring on the window sill. Pretty hidden. And now we can we should be able to safely go chain okay, over here hide in the shadow yes perfect I'm going to take a real save here main menu save call it uh going to the voice third okay There's a loop gap here. So we arrive near the cloister builder area and you can see one of them actually here the mighty builders <coughs> so on the map we are next to uh, right uh, on the right of Bronit's mansion a house you can break into here but it has nothing of interest for us. I don't think there is any look inside. Just check in a moment and then there is the killing. Just to be sure we'll break in. It does have an interesting piece of uh, a readable. Uh, so there's a flash bomb here. I don't think it's this one, so. Just to check uh, behind crates, there's nothing. In this chest, I think there's just a rubber or a mine, I don't remember. Oh no, there's actual loot inside here, good. So this fulfills our loot objective. And here's a book. Uh, the Footman's Almanac of Arms and Armor by Ernesto G. Sequence 9, Standard Pole Arms. Bardish, Bake de Corbin, Bill, Bill Hook, Bill Yuzarm, Chauve-Souri, Couteau de Brèche, Earswood, Bourifian, Fauchard, Fauchard Fork, Fork, Glittery, Glaive, Glaive, Gizarm, 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 Valge, Halbert, Hammer, Lucerne, Partisan, Pike, Owl, Rancer, Spaten, Valge. Albeit often regarded with some cont contempt by the dedicated polearm enthusiasts, the humble Bec de Corbin is, on, is most effi efficacious when wielded against plate armor. These subtypes represent transitory forms not clearly classifiable as either morphological archetype. While the naming conventions are highly variable, it is imperative that the subtypes be kept precisely and accurately delineated. 
the noble glaive gizarm archetype is a veritable treasure trove of further morphological variety. These variations and accompanying di uh, well, these cuts, uh, often mistaken for a blunt instrument, the gentle reader is nevertheless instructed to keep in mind that loosened hammers are in fact part of the pole armor class and not subject to the customary ecclesiarchic limitations. Section. 10 polar arms of the most unusual nature. Gentle reader, it is with no small amount of pride that I bring you this part of my humble treatise, and it stops here. If you remember, in uh, I think it was in Bad Depths, there was a readable that talked about uh, polar arms and stuff like that. It's a pretty nice continuation here. So now I have to mental on this. And mental on this tower. And here's the chalice. I cannot see it, but it's here. Here we go. Our next target is the builder uh, area. The notes I gathered from uh, the basement. There's someone coming. You're good to go now. Drop this inside this. Ah, I got spotted. Damn it. Wasn't good enough. I guess I'll have to just wait some more. Now the builder will come through the door. He's almost there, I can hear him. Well, yes, here he comes. I should have enough time. Uh, the bowman should not come for like a minute. That's this time around. Nice for me, sorry for that. If we drop this readable in the uh, letter uh, thing, the deposit box, we complete an objective which is uh, Bonus to throw the loose off your trail, find some way to divert their attention, and this is done. We are now inside the cloister area at the old tower. Some really nice sound effects here. 
will break into the complex through the attic, actually. I just need to find the perfect place to do it. We can get here, metal and that. Here we go. I will go to the, um... To the, whoa. Bell Tower first. The guard down here. You shouldn't be able to hear us from here above. Be careful because the other dude who comes by here can see us. We can find a mine if you're interested. I'm not. A healing potion here. More importantly, there is a chalice here. And some stuff to read. Um, considered that the grave eventually is against which various and sundry warnings have been disclosed in the uh, canonics as well as the lesser almanac. Our anathema to be pious and vigilant, it must be clear that these incitements against the Lord Builder's works must belong not to be profane but to be unallowed. That, having gorged themselves on their wealth, they should return to rot and decay is proof that sloth invites over sins as spoiled food invites worms and maggots. That, vis a vis the Lord's of old who were leaders of men as they were true servants of the Lord Builder, its lords of today boast of serving none, but unwittingly uh, do the work of the adversary, it is the ultimate consequence of neglection. Does not the Almighty Builder warn of rotted beam and false mortar? Such are the foundings of our once great city, the very stones infused with sin and exhalations of the wicked. Brother Theodore, I turn to thine wisdom in a matter that may be not from Favreglia's attention. Our brother Odo, who hath ever been a vigilant man and a pious servant of the Lord, seems burdened with trouble as of late. I spy him but rarely in our cloister, but more oft pacing the streets in pursuit of a thief who hath robbed us a fourth night ago. Just last eve, he got into a scuffle with Wolsey, the guard at Master Sykes' place. If he suspects the old viper, why does he not call us his brothers with his suspicions? Why does he prowl like a thief and excuse himself from his toils? I asked him to share his burden, so that, uh, so that two might better lift it. But he dismissed me outright. Perhaps if thou couldst talk sense into him and discover the true source of his discontent, we might come to his aid. But if he speaks not, he must shirk his his, tax, his tasks no longer. For the Marcel, it's very hard to read. We have some readables that are not impossible to read sometimes. Down to the attic. Very careful. Huh? Yes, perfect. So we're inside now. So some stuff here. First, this chest. It contains a golden statuette, and that's it. Here, you can already see it. There is a gold cup and a bottle of fine wine. Let's place this. 
uh, there is nothing on the rafters, sadly. This here is one of our exit points, but there is nothing of interest, so we're not going to go down here. Nobody should patrol the attic, last I remember, so we're safe. Oh, actually, we're not safe at all. There are some rope rows in the quiver here, if you're interested in them. I'm not. I will have to be a bit more strict in mine orders. Such laziness in the new acolytes. Right, we should be fine now. So let's just follow him down the stairs. Shadow to my advantage. Well, it's pretty bugged this guy. <laughs> Just waiting till he leaves to grab the pieces of loot. I think the other guy here has a purse. So there were four goblets and a plate. There's a book, but we don't care about that. I think he has a person to check just real quick. No, he doesn't. Okay. I see that. He saw me. wrong timing. It has to be very precise. Brother, didst thou see something? Hard yeah, who goes so. there? So yeah, pretty alert overall. Uh -huh. Very careful. To mind the uh, the other guard to over here you can find two golden chalices which we need first one this guy goes outside and there is a note on the door that I'm not going to read but basically it says uh uh, we're looking for the thief, na, 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 na. Uh, no access to the cloister, etc. I 
they have absolutely no idea where that uh, overguard is. Lucky, I will have a lucky thing this time. There's nothing behind the crates that I'm aware. Nothing. Okay. I'm going to go to the prison area. <laughs> There is a single guard who patrols this area, and he has an eye patch. So he has a not very good vision. To the bottom of the wall. I think there is nothing in this room at all. There was a skull here, but that's it. Yeah. Else of interest. Okay, so let's go to the interrogation chamber. Perhaps I shall see him at evening prayers. Okay. Okay, this is not wolf over here. These drafts keep snuffing out the light. So let's read this. Call it cash, arms taker, seven coins from donation box, 30 lashes and factory work. Visit, wine cellar, boisterous behavior, five lashes released. Latrum, vagrant, acting at impiety, ten lashes per day, incarcer incarceration three days. Beans, right, vagrant, telltale, released. Johannes, or my gear. Boisterous behavior and indecent civil lashes released. Note, free bottle of good wine to Mr. Vitus to smoothen his disposition. <coughs> Bromel, usurer, clon coin clipper, thrown and hand scalded. Transferred to main penitentiary. A laden hall, vagrant, in piety and possessions of pagan nature. Barak, transferred to main penitentiary for his punishments. Mentions of, mentions of Rose Garden. Randall, Carpenter, five gemstones from cloister while working up on scaffolding of old chantry. Pre recovered, died beneath righteous punishment in cell before revealing hiding place of over two. Note, dispatch all able brothers to score area. Woolworth, proprietor, Ward, Peeves, Pound, and Runner, five men in rented apartments, Barack, transferred to main penitentiary for his punishments. That's about it. And put out the light. You should be able to follow this guy and hide in a corner. Indeed, we are. Now, this door on the left we can open with more luck picks. I will have to be a bit more strict in mine orders. Such laziness in the new acolytes. I miss. As you can see, he has very poor vision, so. He's pretty forgiving, this guy. <laughs> So here is a cell. A rat just came out. You can find over here some maseros if you're interested. Free actually. There is some readable uh, over here. Going to read. Our Randall Carpenter of much. Ability and thief of much less. Hereby state on my final power that I repent and make thus testimony, O Lord Builder, look there upon thy servant. Uh, look upon thy servant who hath been uh, underpaid and suffered so much uh, misservice 
from sanctimonious uh, busy bodies, I think, uh, did lift no more than any other, whether they be lord or knave. I uh, rent these him your mercy, for he had stolen that what others merely take away, and stole not enough to be inviolate from, for, from punishment. Item here do I write with my own hand that by, that by this same testament I bequeath what I have left to the wild birds, honest thieves and food companion in my daily work. As for the Lord Builder's name, uh, brave followers, I leave uh, that which they will surely value more than they would any worldly goods, my uh, blessings and prayers for the salvation of their souls. Amen. Very hard to read it again. <coughs> now we're going to break into this room. lucky here. Good thing he has an eye patch on him, because otherwise it's screwed. Okay, so, some bottles of wine here. There's another one here. There's somewhere. What does it look like? Okay, so here is the explosive room. So there's a note. Instructions said Father Glav that the explosive material which would prove most valuable in the demolition of the accursed church of the pagan heretics by blasting it brick to, from brick to brick is to be sealed in this special storage chamber. The following three notes must be kept on record by order of our benevolent father. Item Father Glav has taken the two keys and until he relinquishes them none may retrieve this flap of substance from its cage. Item as it has been told by the master forger who fashioned the explosives, a special treatment procedure must be undertaken to turn it from inner junk into something most volatile. That is, the substance must be taken and submerged into a, in a miraculous liquid in full, of which a container has been provided to our cloister. Item, take thou care that the liquid doth not escape its confining vat. Here it eats man and stone alike, as a man eats of bread and mutton. Here's another note. Read. Explosives, inert until treated, do not submerge, desiccate, or expose to miasma miasmatic environments. Contents of is sufficient for 15 mines or 2 explosive charges. That's some pretty nasty stuff. Well, since we have no access to the keys, we're going to have some physics manipulation very easy. And here we go. And now we have to submerge into that and take it back. This checks our objectives to be explosives from the builder's storehouse. We're done with the builders. There is one last place we need to visit. 
behind these crates and this packaging here is a um, hidden area. You can open with your black bags. Here we go. I'm going to try to replace everything as much as I can. like that. Nobody will ever notice. And then get the package. Get it back here. And close the door. Good enough. So we now arrive behind the cluster area. Is a sealed off um, thing. It's like, ah, it's like, come on, here we go. So, yeah, this leads back to the cloister, which was walled off. So, over here, we can find a, uh, a builder icon somewhere. Here we are, in the ground. There is a guard on uh, the wall here. We have to be careful. Next thing we are going to climb this ladder. The guard should be able to see us. Now we arrive on the rooftops. Over here is where Randall the Carpenter hit the two uh, diamond pistol. Be careful of the guard, you can see us. I'll just wait until he goes to his, uh, his post. the two diamonds and our final loot um, pieces of loot is inside the room is just entered and it's pretty hard to reach actually so we'll have to resort to the lock oh no in this version it's actually more a lot more simple if I remember correctly Metal here. There shouldn't be anything here. Let me check. Invisible rope, by the way, here. If you want to go back to the builder's area. Shadow. This should be enough. It's a nice view. Here it comes. Yeah, we should be able to squeeze in, get the first, and get out. I think that's it, actually. Now we 
we have to worry about going back down. There's a rope just over here, so we can take it. I don't know what this guy is doing. Now he decides to come. Bastard. Yeah, okay, you have to be careful not to bump into them because they will spot you instantly. Okay, that is me. I want your arrows, buddy. Nice and you said here. until he closes the door because he can see us. Oh, we're good to go. Because much noise we want. We'll go down the rope. Oh, whoops. Let me grab it. We're done. Step to escape this door. She will lower my side. So we took uh, one hour and three minutes. We found ah, just 40 shy of loot, and we had four alerts, which is like in fiasco. We faced the up score of one. The others were the same, basically. That was a uh, level two alert. A hey, mumble, stop some looks. This was the uh, the girl in a um, in a you know the sex sex house. Oh yeah. Pretty nice. Some pretty nice ghosting, in my opinion. So, I'll see you next time for another mission. I don't know which one it will be, probably uh, a score to settle. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and see you next time. Bye bye.